Aman, prestano. The world is changed. I feel it in the water. I feel it in the earth. I smell it in the air. Much that once was is lost. For none now live who remember it. It began with the forging of the great rings. Three were given to the elves, immortal, wisest and fairest of all beings. Seven to the dwarf lords, great miners and craftsmen of the mountain halls. And nine, nine rings were gifted to the race of men who above all else desire power. For within these rings was bound the strength and will to govern each race. But they were all of them deceived, for another ring was made. In the land of Mordor, in the fires of Mount Doom, the Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to control all others. And into this ring he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. One by one, the free lands of Middle-earth fell to the power of the ring. But there were some who resisted. A last alliance of men and elves marched against the armies of Mordor, and on the slopes of Mount Doom, they fought for the freedom of Middle-earth. <laughs>
this moment, when all hope had faded, that Isildur, son of the king, took up his father's sword. Sauron, the enemy of the free peoples of Middle-earth, was defeated. The ring passed to Isildur, who had this one chance to destroy evil forever. But the hearts of men are easily corrupted. Destroy it! No. I am Isildur's heir, not Isildur himself. My fate is my own. To Helm's Deep! Brigo, go! Isengard is emptied. It is an army bred for one purpose, to destroy the world of men. The Dark Lord draws near. sanctuary of Rivendell, the smallest of us showed the greatest courage. And a fellowship was forged. I will take the ring to Mordor.
Gandalf, you tried to lead them over Karadras. And if that fails, where then will you go? To Moria. This land has changed. We shall wait here until the path beyond appears safe. I shall scout ahead to find a route through. through the mines of Moria. My cousin Bali give us a royal welcome. Watch out! <laughs>
beast. This is the Dawn of Durin, Lord of Moria. Speak, friend, and enter. Melon. We now have but one choice. We must face the long dark of Moria. It was here that we would find far more than the tomb of Balin, Lord of Moria. We have barred the gates, drums, and the deep. We cannot get out. They are coming.
Okay. I wasn't going to record any uh, commentary for this, but I've uh, had two attempts on Arm on Hand now and I can't finish it. <laughs> so, I'm going to try with the commentary. Yeah, this is harder than I remember, I'll be honest. <laughs> I cannot beat them. The problem is, when I'm blocking... Hang on. Moria had been a dark journey for our fellowship. still, for our fellowship was failing. I would have gone with you to the end, into the very fires of Mordor. Come, Frodo. Run! Frodo carries the fate of us all. We must defend him. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the problem is I've not got any Bane of moves. The, the Bane moves let you lock into a kill move. At the moment, <laughs> like this shit is absolutely torn apart. So if I get in a situation where the Uruk get close and I have to keep blocking, I can't really do anything because I can't counter them out of the block. The problem is well, when you block, it takes a while to then move like that. There's about a second wait before you can actually move. In that time, if there's a few of them around you, they're going to swing at you and they're going to hit you. And it's just like, you can't really do much. Because it's a bit tricky without the upgrades for Legolas. So I think my objective here is just not get, not, uh, to not get boxed in, I think. Use the arrows as much as I can. I can't believe I'm actually having trouble this level. <laughs> I have one of the arrow upgrades, or it's the bow upgrade, I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to take it slow, clear them out one by one. We could redo with like a rising attack as well. I don't think we've, no, we, we don't we don't have that yet, but. That'll be extremely useful as well. Get knocked down. You can knock them right back. We shouldn't be going for that, shall Time is of the essence. I still want to take it slow as I can. I 
Sneezy. Can't even see them. So this kind of situation. So there's two, it's okay. You can just about get out of it, but I say that. You've got to be really careful, but three or more is very tricky. There you go. Help. <laughs> oh my god. It's, it wasn't this... I, I'd not died here in either run. It was... I died at the very end, just before you meet up with the uh, Gimli and Aragorn. Absolutely trounced. Well, there's, there's a bit that a lot of them flood you at once. Get back, get back. You're dead. Level up. Level 4, not sure. Go check the level 4 upgrades. That move. Everyone Swift Terror. I don't really need that right now. It's more fun. Okay, this is a problem already. Gotta get out of it. This is the problem. Can't get boxed in like that. I find hitting the the, the Uruk I want to hit is hard with <laughs> both. It doesn't really go where you want it to sometimes. Okay. Get some health. Okay, good. Full health. Well, we need arrows though. Crap. Oh, crap. That's really bad, actually. Can we do this bit with actually seven arrows? One. No, we can't. You have to give me some arrows, guys. Hmm. Okay, can I just run through? <laughs> just forced away through the fire, okay. This is a problem now because like, I need arrows to do this next bit. So I kind of screwed myself. We might die here. Yeah, this is not good. Can I kill this guy for some arrows? Oh, the camera's all junky. I'm just gonna have to run, with, just, yeah, just, just peg it. Trying. It may be a case of blocking until <laughs> the Kimmy and Aragorn can kill him. I don't know. Okay, now we've got help, we can do something. Oh, we actually have arrows as well. Sweet, okay. Right, but doing alright now. He's gonna fire the hell out of these arrows. Stay close to the lads, should be okay. Cheers, good night. Double stack on the floor. Okay, we're done. This is just the furthest I've got now. <laughs> Taking the time is definitely the way to do it. Barbara's dying, gotta go. Okay, this should be okay on this fight. Be careful. Jesus. Maybe not. It's that herb's the problem, not that. Lost. Are you serious? That's a hell for Oh, I hate this mission. <laughs> well, that upgrade is horrible. The problem that I didn't know no response. Oh, thank God we can do lads. Thank God we're in lads. 
Because before, if you die before this, then you go straight to the very start. So this is actually right. I don't mind that. Yeah, the Eric was the problem there because I couldn't. I had to finish him to get Lurch trapped. Just awkward. Right, kill the Eric and then we'll, we'll start. Okay, why is one not spawned now? Come on. Without any backup is easy. Just go stand around the statues if we can find. The camera's really weird in this fight. Okay, one more should do it. Crap. Sink it in there, boy. Um, how do we finish you? Arrow to the face? Oh, crap. <laughs> Quicker, quicker we can do that. There you go, justice for Barma. Fellowship of the Ring will remain my favourite film of all time. It will take a very, very special film to knock that off the top. Okay, upgrades. Level 4. Let's see what we can get. Right, immediately I can see Rising Attack. That's expensive though. I think it's worth it. Getting more any, into any more Uruk situations. Um, Goblin Bane. This is what we need, the Bane moves. Orc Bane and Bane and Simon is Urux, okay. So you don't get that to level 8 anyway. Okay, fair enough. Lothlorium Bow. I never really use any of these combo attacks, normally anyway. I use the L Run Swift Terror sometimes, but not often. Um, we'll do. Get, should we get. Let's get Golden Bane, I think. Save and carry it. I'm actually glad I, I'm just lucky there was a checkpoint at the Lurts fight. That's that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Very solid. Good, perfect, good, good, good. Average gameplay. Despite Boromir's heroism, the servants of Saruman captured members of our company, but we would not abandon our companions to torment and death. For days we followed their trail. Finally, it led us to Fangorn Forest. This forest is old. Very old. It's full of memory. And anger. They came this way. Come. But their trail ends here. We must split up to find them quickly. Ent. <laughs> what a move. Oh, Rising yeah, it was so worth it. With that. Two down around me. Try Orc Bane. Hang on. Oh, is, is it Goblin? Was it Goblin Bane? That's what it was, isn't it? Yeah. Crap, so we can't use this as well. The Goblins are Orcs, but still. Good night.
Okay, this particular section. <laughs> when, when I played this with uh, Matt back in the day, we, we could not figure out how to do this fight. That's the technique, you hit him once with a fierce attack, but we were, were like trying, if you do a, like a double attack, you'll hit him, but then you can't back off. You just get slammed down, so you lose health eventually. Or you, or you, yeah, you never connect the second one, he'll just kill you faster than you can kill him. Arrows as well, just bounce off. So it's all about that single attack. What did quick attack do? Nothing. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we couldn't work out how to do it. That's funny. I think his dad in the end had to complete the level for us. He found out how to do it. When you know it's actually quite easy. It's just one little attack and it takes a bit of time, but it's not too much trouble, there you go. I don't think there should be any problems with the levels, as in difficulty, until we get to the Helm's Deep. I don't remember any of them being that tough. I think the very last level is probably going to be the hardest one. The Deeping Wall as well is pretty, can be pretty nasty. I say that, I'm going to die on this bit here, I guarantee it. <laughs> come on, come for it, who wants a piece? Thank god there was a health there. It seems to give you health when you most need it. If you get in a bit of a bad fight, the, you just the one just drop it seems like. Which is fortunate for me because I'm getting trounced again. Arrow the last one today. Can you fall in? I'm not even going to try and fall in the pit, just in case you can. Going off the edge, boys. Well, maybe not. Not he was. Yeah, not my. Oops. Using earphones to record, so not the map. Yeah, this is not my, not my favourite level of the game, I've got to be honest. I don't think it's particularly good. My favourite was all be. It'll be a uh, deep wall. That was. Rising attack? No, that's not what I think. Yeah, Deeping Wall is just awesome. I think the first time I saw that, I was just blown away by it. So cool, like the arrow volleys from the Oryx. Fending the wall. That's awesome. Okay, I'm pushing you like out the tunnel right now. <laughs> you could probably do that charge up fierce attack actually on this guy. I would imagine. Towards the end. I'm gonna try it. Um, let him do a swing and then I'll try it. There you go. Please, nice, nice, nice. Okay, we're getting that. Ambush around this corner. Oh, oh no, him. <laughs> it's almost better to let him hit, knock you down because then you can do a rising attack and knock him over. Here's the ambush. Oh, 
have to try Goblin Bane actually, yeah, if I can. Nice. These moves are really fun as well. You need this move as well, I think, in uh, the Hornberg level at the end. Yeah, this makes it and you get excellent as well. It makes sense to do this, to be fair, because it just gives you excellence guaranteed. Excellence worth more experience points. Come on. Who wants to go next? Fair enough, right. Let's shoot a few. <laughs> yeah, definitely gonna get the orb brain then. I'm hoping I'll be level 8 by the time we get to the Humbug Court. The courtyard. So we can use the Baruch one. If we're not, I think we probably worth it's probably worth grinding until we get to level 8 just to get that one upgrade. Spare health should we need it? I don't think we should though. Last two boys of the level. Just thinking actually, I would love to see a speedrun of this game. Because you can't... This game is different to some that you actually have levels. So you couldn't really speedrun. It's normally in sort of, you know, one... Game that has no levels, you can just as often skip the skip a lot of the level, like the actual game. Oh, crap. But unless you couldn't do that, so I'm oh, getting trounced. I can't actually die here, but be careful. Take it easy. Well, that's actually an option, you can actually do that. I know that. It's a bit more risky. But... Cool. Aragorn. There is something out there. What do you see, Legolas? The White Wizard. Saruman. Converged. It cannot be. There is a union now between the two towers, Orsank and Baradu. First excellent, thanks to uh, Goblin Bane. Okay, so level 6. Okay. We're almost level 5, so we should be able to hit that pretty soon. Yeah, I don't really need any of this. I'll, I'll get the bow, I think. Because it's always useful. Mithril arrows. Nice. Okay. Let's save it here. Okay, we're back. So... I'm not sure whether this is going to be one in continuous video as of now or I'm going to split it up so <laughs> it may just be <laughs> a couple of seconds until I finish Fangorn Forest but we'll see. So um, we're now on to Rohan. Ah oh, god yeah I remember this. I think my yeah the Plains of Rohan was my favourite level of the Rohan ones I think. And then this is my favourite level the Deeping Wall that's just a classic level. 
Okay, that's that's a way off. What I think I'll do as well, once I've finished the Hornberg, I'll go and watch all the bonus interviews and little clips and stuff. And then after that, we'll probably go and do this. The secret mission, which is, I think is the Tower of something or other. Or Thunk or Saruman or something. So we'll do that. That's the game plan, but for now, let's jump onto the pens around. So we need to level up Legolas as much as possible. I think definitely, like, if, he's, if he's not level 8, by the time we get to the Hornbow, we'll just we'll grind a level out. I'll probably do it off camera. Before our long journey brought us to Edmunds. Your people were already in great peril. We really could do with the um the We must save everyone that we can or the Bane move. Or this village will fall. So actually it looks like with these orcs you just need to do the one triangle attack and they, they go down instead of doing the double like this. So one quick hit, knock them down, finish them. Okay. Oh crap, we're timed up, we've got to... Oh no, Gandalf does that. I forgot. You must press on. I am needed elsewhere. There you go. <laughs> Off he goes. Alright, get in there. Doing that, that move a lot this level. <laughs> Not kidding. Oh, we have a new arrows, don't we? I think, or a new bow or something. I forget why I upgraded. Zerka. Oh, it's burned anyway. Burn. Yeah, we can't slow down team. Oh, I want to get that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Are you serious? <laughs> we just completely screwed ourselves. Do we fail? <laughs> Bloody hell, that was fast. I remember that being that hard. It's done. We've lost. Perfect. It's your third attempt at doing this level. <laughs> this is not annoying now, it really is. We must save everyone that we can, or this village will fall. There are no checkpoints, so if you if you fail at the very end, you have to do the whole level again. Yeah, it was. I got to the the, the end of the level, last one. I'm not going to include it in the video, I don't think. It was a berserker that. This is a time level. You have to get. You have to kill as many Urukai as you can 
while that green bar for the you villagers is, you know, alive. A berserker held me up at the end, I couldn't do anything. I just couldn't attack it. Just destroyed me all the time ago. Brutal. I'm going to try and probably arrow it next time. Because sometimes you can do the, the double fist attack on it and knock him down, other times you can't. He wasn't getting hit by the rising attack either, which is another good way to knock them down and finish them. Hmm. Okay. This is the tenor, you just do one fist attack on the Uruks and then finish them. Leaving that health just for time. Oh god, the controls when the camera changes so bad. <laughs> just change everything. Right, it's practice. That's exactly what I did last time block and then attack. It doesn't always work though, that's the problem. And they're so quick at defending, so. Yeah, Berserk is suck. Let's get this health. Keep running, keep running. Speed is of the essence. I went the first time I played it, I went for that experience box on the right hand side, but just died to well didn't die to fire, but I burnt really badly. And this oh, I'm stuck in the environment as well. Okay. Move! You old fool move. I don't care if you're burning. Alright, nice and easy. Take it out. I'm going to try and arrow the Berserker, I think, just to make it easy. Forget about getting good or whatever on this. But survival. Gandhi just got destroyed. We want to give ourselves as much time as we can. The last bit. I like the fact now I'm taking this mildly, mildly seriously. <laughs> so I can't do it. <laughs> but you gotta take it somewhat seriously. I was looking for a nice, like, you know, a memory lane, but this is, this is harsh. <laughs> it's intense gameplay. Okay. I really wanna do it this time. That was like kills me, annoyed. So time is very short. Right, let's just try and. Arrow this one. Where is he? There he is. Oops. Okay, good. Dead. Right, can we get him out now? No, move. I don't move. What the hell? Oh, if that had killed me, if you trapped me, <laughs> if you trapped me, that would have sucked. Okay, I think we're good. I've done all you can. Yeah. The survivors Jeez. will make the homes deep. You still have work to do. I will come back to you at the turn of the tide. So from that demographic there, it looks like there was just one type of woman and old men. Nice. Yeah, pretty average level that, <laughs> that one. <laughs> but it, it's done, that's the main thing. I'm not caring about rank, I want to just get it done. Okay, so charge attack. See, none of this really interests me. I think I'm just going to save the cash until uh, we get some decent stuff. Skip the save in this one, I think, just risk it. So, Westfold. This one, I think, is a bit easier. There's no time on this one, so we don't have to rush it. Which is always good for us. We are not alone in defending Rohan. The King's Guard were also fighting through to Helm's Deep. I have seen it before, but never like this. Hmm. I forgot about these suicide bombers. Our only 
only hope is to stand together. Saruman's forces move strange explosive devices through this town. Help us destroy them. What do you want? We must destroy these explosive devices. Ah, so these ones don't fall down to the um, the normal fist attack. Oh, fire, 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 fire. There you go. Good. Okay, these ones fall to the first one, but these, these ones are a bit nastier. Okay. We have Oak Bay now, we do, don't we? We did. I'm trying to do the Oak Bay, that's what. Maybe not. They double check that on the uh, thing. Although it may, be, it may be different buttons, I'm not sure. Oh, crap. Sorry, Amir. <laughs> Took one in the face with that. It may just be like block and R2, because the Goblin Bane is um, block X and R2. It may just be yeah, block and R2, I'm not sure. Let me check it. Suicide, suicide. Sit down, boy. Yeah, I'm not sure. It doesn't need to be working either way, so... I don't think I've got a walk brain yet. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. I shall have to find another way. The camera here is, is so awkward. <laughs> okay. Bomb, bomb. That was daft. Gotta hit this guy behind. There you go. Just arrow everything. Just keep spraying the arrows. <laughs> You get a chain reaction if you hit them. There you go. Cool. Nice. Killed a few there. We can hit a bomb if we can. These ones are really awkward. They, they fall backwards so you can't hit them with the second fist attack. Unless you get only hit them with one. Die, 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 die. Yeah, not a hard level. I, sh I shouldn't say that before I finished it, because I'm going to get killed at some point. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this is too hard a level. I think this is probably the end now. You destroy that big caravan of explosives, and I think that's the end. If I fell out. There we go. Gotta keep on top of the suicide bombers. That's what I have to do. Um, let's go this way. Get more direct shot on these boys. Keep moving, keep moving. Let's take out this. Arch if we can. Right. See the the aiming on this is a bit janky. It doesn't really 
go for what you want sometimes. Yeah, we're almost done now. Let's shoot this guy from long range. No, here, man. Leave him. He's mine. Oh, ruin the fun. Fine. Those few of us able to fight. March for Helm's Deep. There the future of Rohan shall live or die. What a stance that is. <laughs> Alright, we're getting through. Not a great level for grinding, that one. Not was better than the one before, actually. Still not great. Ah, uh, yeah, we, we don't have all brain, okay. I thought we didn't, it wasn't working, so. Okay, so we're level 5, we're almost there. Don't have a lot of cash, though, it's going to take... We might have to do some grinding, actually, to, to get up to level 8 and then afford everything in level 8. It seems like. I wonder what the, left, the best level is for grinding. Possibly Barlin's Tomb might be decent, because you do get a lot of kills in that one. There's a few good chances to get a perfect as well. Okay, so Gapper Rohan. Let's do it. I guess we don't necessarily need all the health stuff for the Hornberg. Could not let these creatures reach the refugees. Fairs really don't help as well with this, <laughs> the score. Make them fear the wolves of Isengard. What's he called? I can't remember what the uh, orc's name is. Oh yeah, and I can't block, can I? I think about it. How do you not get? Okay. Oh god, yeah, I forgot. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Good start. Well, he's dead. He's, he's dead. <laughs> Give me a chat on this video. Right, okay, we're in the game. It's all about that, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's the. I think it's the L2 move to dodge back. Wait till you... There you go. That's it. You move in one direction and back off in the other. So you rears up like that. And then you can... Hit him a couple of times. Cool. Shouldn't be too much problem. <laughs> no, move! Get some arrows before we uh, run out. Nice dodge, there we go. Is it normally, is it in runs of three that he attacks you? I don't know, maybe not. Yeah, don't risk a second attack after you've done the first one, you'll just get hit. Oh my god. We could do some health here to be honest. I'm not convinced we're gonna survive. Now kill that one. Good night. Rear up. Yeah, that's nice. One more hit you do it. Should 
should be able to just arrow him to death, I think, after this one. Oh, crap. Gotta be really careful now, we could go down. Two more hits, probably we'll die. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, kill this. Kill the spare. Oh, I'm going for that health. Screw it. Ooh, bold moves to. Oh no, you can't actually arrow him. You gotta hit him. Nice. Your people were defended, but we paid for it with many lives. I nearly lost my own. So it is that by various paths we have all come to the fortress of Helm's Deep to make a final stand. Oh, it's time. The Deeping Wall. It's time. Ooh, actually, that might be the level to grind on because we were only getting fares and goods, but we got 10,000 upgrade points. I think it's, it depends on the, the type of enemy, I guess. For maybe goblins aren't the best ones. It's, yeah, more type of enemy. Okay, that's worth knowing. So I think what I might do off screen then is, is do that one again a few times just to make sure we can get um, all the health stuff as well. We might as well be fully upgraded then if that's going to be that easy. Okay, Orcbane. Yes, please, definitely. Um, that'll help us out with the Hornbug as well. Um, so that's for shield the enemies, okay. That one might be okay. Let's have a look at the other one. The other upgrade. That's not bad. That might be something worth playing around with as well. That's not... Nah, that's not for me. Again. Don't need it. Um, the arrow upgrade could be good. This is probably an ideal one to do. Let's do this one. I guess we'll have, especially for Legolas, he's, he's the weakest of the three, so he needs the, the health more than the rest. So dragon fire. I think we'll get all of this, possibly. Yeah, we'll get all of that. Then it's on to level eight. So, Bane of Saruman. Not that one, probably. Definitely these two, though. Okay, so we've got a few things to, to upgrade. It's going to be, what's that? It's pretty much 30,000. 40,000. Yeah, 45,000 should cover us, I think, for what we need. With a possible option of this one, so maybe 50,000. So that's replaying Fangorn, um, whatever the, the last one was, for a few times. Okay. I'm just going to save it here, and then I'm going to do my favourite level in the game. Cool, what's going on? So I have uh, Return of the King as well, so after I finish this game I will be playing Return of the King. Which is going to be great, because I think I've, I've played this one more recently, Two Towers, because it's my, my favourite of the two. But um, I've not played Return of the King for a long time. There is one thing I'm particularly looking forward to in that game, is the, is the tower, the challenge level. There's two I think, there's a the Tower of Saruman and the Tower of Sauron. Okay, I'll talk about that later. Where is the horse and the rider? Where is the horn that was blowing? I have passed like rain on the mountains, like wind in the meadow. The days have gone down in the west, behind the hills, into shadow. must keep Sauron's gaze fixed upon us. Keep him blind to all else that is moving.
<laughs> this scene in the film as well is just incredible. It's just oh. You just can't beat like having real people in costumes and suits. As opposed to like the Hobbit movies, which is just pure pretty much pure CGI. It's just not as good. It's just not as real. It's just so much more believable. I think CGI right now is not at a stage where it can be... It, for me, it doesn't draw me in because it's not... It, you can tell it's CGI. The way they did Helm's Deep and, you know, it's just so much better than the Hobbit movies. It's believable. It's all, you know, real people in Uruk costumes. It just looks fantastic. It's probably more expensive to do that way, I, I would imagine, but it's far better. That's one of the, one of the many reasons why the Lord of the Rings movies were far superior to the Hobbit ones. Um, there's too many elves in the wall. I need to die. <laughs> I actually have a terrible start, <laughs> start here. I know they are. I can't do much about it. <laughs> oh, they suck. Right, get it, get it out of the way. Oh god. So this level was the um, the first level I ever saw of this game. I'm gonna get hit by the arrow. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so basically what my mate Matt, um, he got a PS2 um, and this game and sh it showed me this game. And this is the first level he showed me and it was just incredible. Back in the day, it's like watching this. After the, obviously we'd seen the films. I don't know, I, I, I actually... I'm not sure if we had actually. I think the f the third ship would definitely come out. I don't know if the two towers. Oh, it must have come out. It must have come out. Oh, that's worth looking up actually. I have a feeling this this came out possibly just before the film did the two towers. Because I'm fairly sure I remember watching the clips of the film in this game and thinking this is going to be awesome. But I may be wrong about that. I, I could be completely wrong. But either way, this this game, this level blew me away. It was just, it looked incredible. I've also enjoyed the kind of like the defensive side of strategy games. I, I, I enjoy that aspect of it. And this is quite, you know, it's all about like defending the wall and you know, the onslaught. It's really cool. Get the hell out of the way. <laughs> so the main thing here is just keep the uh, the ladders down. It's less important about killing the orcs and goblins and things, it's more just about keeping the ladders out. So we've got left side first, then we've got the middle. We'll slowly lose people on the... Okay, good. I will kill a few here and there if I can. This is bad actually. Shielded ones are so annoying. There's a lot of actually around here. I might have to kill a few. Okay, let's knock you over. Get that elf a bit of hand. Move, move, move. On the way, boys. Yeah, I think this this level is my favourite, and then the, the Hornberg is, I think, is probably the yeah my second favourite. They're both fantastic levels. The Hornberg is just a pure out scrap. It's just fantastic. And that's the one I've not actually played for many years. I'm, I'm sure I've played this, this one more recently. Just for a bit of fun. Okay, middle secure. We've got a spare health up there, should we need? Arrows are maxed, Ooh, looking good. Let's quickly kill you. All the Uruks are on the one up. So the, the, the level of enemies start to get harder, you get Uruks, there's Uruks on the walls eventually. Ooh. He's got so many arrows in him. Okay, we'll leave the middle one and go back to the right first. The Uruks on the wall are looking good, not too many. Kick him off for an excellent. Yeah, any um, melee kills you get, you get an immediate excellent. I really want to get the Bane of um, Sauron because it looks so awesome as well. The moves are pretty cool. Nice. Bit of Orc Bane. Take that boy. That's going to be a good way to deal with the, uh, the Shield of Orcs, isn't it? Oh, I thought I blocked. Okay, drop you down. 
Stubby, stubby. Take it down. Okay, good. Got the health marks up. Kill these boys out. Okay. Okay, so it's Aragorn on the left. Give me on the right. Okay, fair enough. It's at me. It's at me. Ugh, too slow. Run now, I've got to be a bit careful. I've got to go up in the middle now. Try and clear some out. Oh, crap, yeah. Looking bad in the middle. Grab the health. Kill an Eric. You know, when this level's about to end, you hear the trumpets in the, uh, the background. <laughs> That's a sign it's going to be okay. I think this is possibly the last. Cut team before the end. So we should get the highest level now. We should get the berserks and capitals running down and everything. Hold the line, boy. Yep. Definitely kill those if we find them. I've actually got a few elves still alive. That's Pretty good, I think normally they will die, no. Okay. I think as well, um the bane of Saruman for the the berserks is really useful. It's just such a quick way to kill them. By far the worst enemies. Okay, clear this right side out. Okay, we'll go down the middle now. We took a big hit on that cap. <laughs> oh my No way, I should dodge that! That's brutal! That's harsh. <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> On the um, the cap to kill. Oh god. Are you serious? <sighs> okay, I'll see one coming actually. Oh my god. There are enough for us both, Gimli. There are enough for us both, Gimli. I'm here, I've heard that so many times now. They're like four fails. I'm going to repeat this, <laughs> this level scene by scene, line for line. Okay, let's do it, come on. Once again, I, I think I've got a... I was a bit careless. I thought I could... I had more time when that second catapult fired. I thought I had more time to run past the, the landing zone, but actually, no, it comes in really quickly, so... I've got an idea of the timing of the shots now, so I think that should be okay. As long as I pay full attention to the catapults, we should be okay. Why am I kicking this guy? Come on. I don't think I'm going to get a cleaner run than I had last time about clearing the uh, the orcs of the wall. That was about as clean as it could have got, really. But damn it. But we'll try and replicate that. So we, we set ourselves up nicely in that one. I'm talking as if I've included that in the video, which I probably haven't, but I had a good run last time. <laughs> Until I died from a double catapult shot again, for the third time. So four times so far, three times I've died to catapult, and once I let the uh, orcs, I run the walls too much. I just couldn't clear them off. I got stuck getting knocked down by orcs everywhere. Okay. Okay, second phase. Come. Cool. I have to say, I'm absolutely loving this though. It's it's so much fun playing this again. It was a very big favourite of mine growing up. It was in the time when uh, the the movies had come out, I think, or at least one of them had come out by this point. Ouch, that hurt. 
And uh, yeah, so Lord of the Rings was all the all the rage. So this game was just yeah, very nice addition to the overall feel of things. Look at these guys over there, four hours just sitting there doing nothing. I finished him on the ground with the uh, fist attack. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, I think we've, we're getting a bit better at the actual clearing sections here. Knocking things down, we're, we're getting better. Here we go. Might as well help out here a little bit. There you go. No problem, gamers. See you in a second. I'm actually really excited to play the Hornberg level again because I've not played it for many years. Just remembering how bad it was. I've I think I want to prepare myself though, and I want to grind a little bit to make sure Legacy is all prepared. There you go, a few arrows. Actually, make sure he's got all the things I want, all the combos and things I want, the health upgrades, the arrow upgrades, and then we'll give it a crap. Give it a good, uh, good a try. There's also the, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like the, the tower, the special level at the end of the game as well, the Tower of Warfank or something. I can't remember how hard that is in this game. Because you get two special levels in the Return of the King game. Um, the Sauron Tower of that being very hard, I remember. Um, but I can't remember how bad it is in this game. It might be a bit easier. We'll have to see. It should be fun though. It's such a cool idea though, having like a, a wave thing, you know. With different enemies from the game. There you go. Killing the ladder's knocked down in one. Perfect. Um, let's just quickly grab this one. Might as well. This phase is longer than I remember. I don't know if it's if it prolongs it if you're doing well or it may just I'm just losing my mind. I don't know. Again, this is a pretty clean run. I think we're doing okay. Walls are clear. Okay, I'll leave that for Aragorn. I think he doesn't need the help. Knock you down. Let's quickly finish. Oh, you're dead anyway. Get down, boy. Yeah, shouldn't have any problems now. I don't think it's looking fairly smooth, so I think we should be fine until the cat horse arrive. Um, I would like to pick up a health, though, if we could. I want to be perfect health by the time the catapult phase arrives. Okay, knock you down, knock you down. Out of the way, elf. Let's quickly grab this one. <laughs> Such a sort of gimli get nailed then. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's a tough old lad, though. Should be fine. Yeah, come on. Just gonna kill you off. That was a mistake, because I like this one up. Oh, I'll leave him, leave him, forget it. I can't forget it. No! Oh, such a waste, such a waste, a lot of waste of time then. Yeah, I let the arrow come up because of that. Yeah, that's what you can't do, see immediately now. It's been, it hit the um, yellow on the uh, orc level. Just because I was messing around. Alright, go, 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 go. Too long here. Move. Nice health. Good, good. Well, move. Health. We'll just clear this one out. Quickly. There you go. Kill him. Yes. I'll get the arrows whenever I can, I think they're more dangerous. Okay, watch out the air. arrows. Good, good, good. We're okay, we're okay. Here we go, right, watch out. Come on, we got this. Where's it going? I don't know. Oh, it's coming straight here.
perfect. Oh, he's dead anyway, never mind. Spending too long. Gotta go, gotta go. Ah, oh, damn it. Buddy Berserker. Okay, kill him. Good, nice, nice, nice. Killed him. I know, I know, I know. Let Gimli deal with that one. Damn it, took a hit from Catapult. Get the health quickly. Go, go, go. Okay, we're gonna go. No, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I saw it coming. I was just panicking then. Okay. I think we're okay. Missed that crap out. Good, good, good. We're over overrun here. Kill. Fucking catapult. Yes, yeah, so that's the good sound. That's a good sound. It means that it's almost over. Yes, come on! Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> Just in time as well, we were getting completely overrun at the end then. It was I couldn't have held off on much longer. Oh bloody hell. Thank goodness. Oof, that was a yeah tough level. I think the last one we had a more uh, hold on the catapult shots. Just learning the, learning the timing and when they're going to land. I think that's the main problem. But okay, good. Um, Gilgaland's rage. I, I will want that, I suppose, but it's not a priority just yet. I think I want to focus on the arrows for now. Um. I know that we'll definitely say that before it, <laughs> just in case it crashes me, I have to redo all that again. Whew. Deeping wall in the bag. Nice, nice, nice. Good. So this level with the breached wall is is a good level for a Legolas because it's a lot of um, ranged fire. A lot of long range attack, so this is made for Legolas really. So I don't think we should have any problem with this one, but we'll see. Gotta keep them clear. I would imagine this level is probably the hardest for Gimli, given his throwing actors. Did they have a shorter range? Probably. I don't know. I can't remember playing much with Gimli, so they were looking good, looking good. Just take a little cheapy, sh yeah, cheap shot. We go out and get some more arrows, I think, when we can. This is like a this is pretty much a wave defense sort of thing because they come in greater numbers and you get a catapult at the end and stuff. Around. I think a, isn't there a troll at some point as well in this one? I'm pretty sure there is actually. Okay. Yeah, I would love to have the dragon fire arrows for this level, but that was a good hit. Killed most. Let's clear this shield out before they arrive. That's actually not bad, I can knock down most of them. There you go, good. One more. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, again, I'm not too worried about the, uh, the quality of the kills. I just want to get them killed. Good hit. 
Okay, I think there's a just normal orcs for now, no orcs yet. Wanna clear that shield off first. Stay back boys, I'm not getting near this. One through the head there, see that? Grab some arrows. Okay, looking good so far. Oh god. That's a lot of orcs. Clear them out. That was perfect. More points. Oh god, that's a bad wave. Lots of shields. That's not, not what you want to see. Oh, crazy. Okay, that was actually fairly good. I think it cleared out a lot near the gate. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. Whew. Got a little bit tight then. Obviously, focusing down the right, the one you want is, is tricky. Okay, let's clear you out. Oh, this is bad. I'm swamped with those big ones coming. These guys, we need like um, a Gandalf attack that when he slams his staff on the ground, that kind of attack. Big area effect attack. Move, move, move. Okay, good. Leveled up, good. Wow, they're tough. Look at that, we test. I've got to get in here actually. Okay, could have been worse. The gate's taking a bit of a pounding, but it's alright. Okay, clear the shields out. Okay, let's prioritize the gate. That was actually good for us, I think, because it cleared out. Getting them close is not bad. I think it's just when they they get too rope like right next to the gate is a problem. But hit around when it's yeah, they can actually help out the suicide ones clearing out some the orcs. I'm not even sure if it's better to stand further forward. It may be better to be closer, I don't know. Okay. I'm expecting something big soon. Oh, here we go. Ooh, I actually dodged, I dodged his hit because I was in the animation. Crap, okay. RFI. There's a berserk on the gate, I think, pretty sure. Yep. Finish it. Okay. Oh, berserk is a cool thing to send in there. <laughs> Just got him. Oh god, it's getting mental. 
Have mercy. <laughs> this is such a long level as well. It's just oh, it's just K. Oh my goodness, this is actually harder than I remember. <sighs> Full health, good. Kill these archers from yes, that was good. That was good. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. This ca um, whatever it is, not cave trolls, a jungle one, whatever it's called. There's a few houses around there, but I don't want to really stop just now. Okay, good. Get okay, we're doing well, doing well, I think. <laughs> Come on. Right, this is. Oh, we actually killed this guy. Oh, I think oh, we must do. We've got to destroy the cow pole. Okay, come on. It's the last stage now, so we've got to get this done. I think we've got enough help on the gate to make it last, so I imagine this is going to hit pretty hard, though, so I've got to be quick about it, I guess. There we go. He's essentially a berserker. Oh, he's Clear these boys out. Ow. What the hell? I've got to get I've got to clear the archers out first. It's mental. Those fire bombs are gonna kill me. Ah, stop blocking! <sighs> if I don't do this now, I'll be devastated. Okay, this is quicker, I think. Come on, come on. Don't screw me, don't screw me. <laughs> Please. I can't do this level again, it's too long. Oh, the earbuds keep falling out. Oh my goodness, that was... That was pretty tight, actually, by the end. Where were you, Ogron? Slow as hell. Seen such axe work, Master Dwarf. Or I such bow skill. But they never stand back up after I have hit them. <laughs> we have helped. Women and children are safe. For now. Gonna be a lot of fairs in this one. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> 50 fairs. I'm gonna guess 28 good. Nope. Way off. Oh, okay. What was it? 28 good? What am I talking about? Whoa, 73. 28, excellent. <laughs> good. That's not a bad level for experience, but the problem is it's way too long. I think because the 
the warg level you get about I had about ten thousand and it's very quick that level, so that's I think it's the best one I've I think to grind on. Level eight, we're here. Oof. Okay, so Dragonfire Arrow is done. Um I don't want that. Um I'm gonna leave that actually. I think I don't really need it. So useful. Can't afford this. So right, well, my plan is now I'm gonna go grind off camera. I'm not gonna record it. I'm just gonna keep rinsing the um the warg level um until I can afford not this one, but I wanna get the Unether arrows, the Elven Bow Mastery. Um I think I'll probably get the, the charge attack as well. Um anything else I want? Mm, maybe that. So I've got to get about, yeah, 25,000 probably, something like that. So that's about three or so playthroughs of the, the walk level. So, yeah, what I'll do, I'll do that, come back, um, and Legolas should be ready for the uh, the Hornberg. Let's do it. Okay, we're back. So basically the situation is, I've, just, I've tried to grind with Legolas, but unfortunately, um, you can't replay levels that you've already completed with that character, so I can't replay any of these with Legolas. Um, I just did this with Aragorn to see if I could transfer the XP over to a Legolas, but I don't think it works that way. So I think you have to clear this one before you can go back and then play again with the same character. I think that's how it works. So unfortunately we're going to have to try and do this without any of the later upgrades. We, we have the Bane of Saruman, which is good. So we can counter the Orcs, which is a main bonus. But no arrow upgrade. I've got dragon fire, but that's it. Oh boy, here we go. Tell me, tell me. What's interesting is all the orcs in the area, when you do that kill move, they stop to let the animation finish. <laughs> so it actually buys you a bit of time. Camera's a bit weird in this one. Oh, stop swinging your bloody axes, you fool. As long as they go down, I don't mind. So, fares are not a problem. Get him. Nice. Okay. I thought I killed you. Right. Quickly up to the Aragorn. One second dude, I'll be there, right with you. I'll kill a few orcs first. Done. Oh, it's, he's broken. No. Kill the big boy first. Oh, I wanted to try. Oh, um, Rook Bane actually. Let's kill as many as we can from the wall. I think we're gonna probably kill a few. We might kill two. 
go, go, go. So you gotta watch out for the cat poles again. <laughs> Gimme's getting swamped. Go on, son. There you go. Okay, we're doing okay. The problem is if you miss the um, orc brain thing, it does the, the kill move and it just slows you down. We've got to get to the gate, I think, ASAP here. Get some orc brains in, kill these shielded boys off. Gate is getting pounded. Yeah, how the hell did you defend that? Bloody hell, that's, that's really hard. I think I've got to be more focused on actually getting near the gate and clearing the ones that are hitting the thing. Yeah, that's rough. Fuck. You're very quickly going to have our Aragon. We'll come straight back to the gate. So we're not going to stand up there firing arrows. We're not going to fight on the wall either. We're just going to go straight to him. Straight back to try and save time as much as possible. I don't want to fight any of these guys. Well, can we help our Aragon? Let's head back to the game. 
Watch out for that. Ah! Give me cutscenes. Excuse me. Let me through. Okay. For a few hours in the back, let's get involved. Let's see what's going on. Okay, look, I think we're doing well, though. Should we turn this off? I don't know. Oh, God. It's off. Move. I think we have to clear this off. Get lost. Move, Aragorn! Bloody hell. Pathing this is awful. Clear this off as quick as we can. I think we're good. Good to me. Oh, I can't see. This is such mayhem. This level is such mayhem. Move! I can't get past. Oh, we're definitely doing better. It's about half health, so. We got this, we got this. I don't know how much stuff we need to finish this, but. That was good talent. Okay, we have a troll coming in, so I don't know what we do. We need to kill the troll and then it's over? I don't know. I think it's a catapult, but I might be wrong. We need health badly at the moment. That's two, shit. Kill the circuit. Ah, oh, god. This is impossible, man. Come on, come on.
Come on, see we've done it, see we've done it, see we've done it, see. Come on, come on. Did we do it? I don't know. I think we did it. <sighs> Bloody hell. I can just enjoy this now. <laughs> I'm so tough. Sauron and Saruman are tightening the noose. But for all their cunning, we have one advantage. The ring remains hidden. And that we should seek to destroy it has not yet entered their darkest dreams. And so the weapon of the enemy is moving towards Mordor. In the hands of a hobbit, each day brings it closer to the fires of Mount Doom. Sauron fears you, Aragorn. <laughs> and it was good. Two thousand and three, bloody hell. Okay, it's done. Oh, I felt so good. I only took, I think it was three tries to do that. Not sure. One or two, two or three, sorry. Okay, so we'll see what we can... Still can't upgrade the arrows, which is a shame. This looks good. These enemies penetrate and damage all enemies in their path. That would be awesome. Um, increases the damage, yeah. We need both of these, I think, for the, the tower level. But we'll save this game here. Level 9. I think we need to be the level 10 as well to do the tower. So we'll see now we've completed the last level if we can go back and do things as Legolas. I hope we can. Well, I guess you, you must be able to, surely. How else would you... Yeah, you can. Okay, cool. So that's good. So basically, we've, we've cleared all the levels now. It's done. So we jump down. I'm going to quickly grind a little bit, like I plan to do before. Um, but I can actually do it now. So we'll go back and do some stuff as Legolas. Um, I'm not going to bother. I've just noticed you can play the secret level as, I think, Aragorn and Gimli. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to play it with the Legolas. Just the, that's, the, that's our character we've been playing through. So I'm not going to go back and do it all for all of them. Um... It does mean I think we're not going to be able to watch some of these interviews with uh, Vigo and John. I assume there's an interview for John as well. Yeah. Yeah, so we're not going to see that, unfortunately, but I'm sure they're on YouTube somewhere, so we'll watch the rest of them. Um, we'll see Legolas' uh, interview as well, and then we'll go and play the last level. So, yeah, almost there. All right, so I'll see you back when we've uh, hit level 10. Okay, so I've uh, done a bit of grinding with the Legolas, and now he is completely finished. I've got level 10, and he's got all the upgrades on all levels. I, was, I might as well just do it all. <laughs> Sorry, he's all, all set for uh, the Tower of thing, is it? So what we'll do before that, I'll just watch uh, some of the interviews. Um, and then we'll get on the, uh, the final level. And that'll be it. It's been, a, it's been a fun playthrough, but I'll get to that after we've finished everything, so... Here we go. Into this 
ring, he poured his cruelty, his malice, and his will to dominate all life. One ring to rule them all. What we've done is a culmination of a huge amount of work involving thousands of people. The title The Two Towers refers to the Tower of Orthanc, which is where Saruman, Christopher Lee's character, is based, and the Tower of Baradur in Mordor, the home of Sauron. Film two, like uh, every film in this uh, trilogy, is a challenge. <laughs> and uh, will remain so until we deliver it. It's a great movie. It's going to be bigger than film one. I think definitely that there was such care that went into making these movies and to be able to transfer that information to the team that's building the games is great because I know they're putting in an equal amount of care and effort into bringing a really rich game to the public. Tolkien describes Edoras very vividly in the books as being a city of wooden buildings on the hill in front of a range of snowy mountains when we were originally doing our location scouting. I said, look, we've got to find somewhere in New Zealand, there's got to be a hill like this that's in front of the mountains. So they went helicoptering all around the country and they came back with a photograph of the absolute perfect hill. It was about 60 or 70 miles away from the nearest town. It was in the middle of the South Island. It was very remote. We spent about seven or eight months actually constructing these huge buildings. The end result was that in the movie we have an Edoras, which is, which is thoroughly believable. I was able to go there and just shoot as if it was an existing location. One of the exciting things about the EA games and what I've been seeing in the models as they've been built is a great replication of our sets and our characters to the point where EA worked out a deal with our actors so that they would come in and record their own dialogue. The actors were quite excited about it. The battle for Helm's Deep is over. The battle for Middle-earth is about to begin. We built a miniature of Helm's Deep, but what was interesting was that it wasn't just a model, it was a huge miniature. It was a quarter scale, but it was in itself about 30 or 40 feet wide. And it was so big that we could just photograph it with our cameras and it wouldn't look like a miniature, it just looked totally believable. What makes a great movie is really a great script and, and a great cast. I imagine when you're doing a game, it's many of the same challenges. You've got to attract the right talent to the game. You've got to get a story that will attract an audience and then become excited by that story and compelled by that story to actually see it come to life. There is nothing we can do for Frodo. The quest will claim his life. Rohan is weak and ready to fall. And so he will strike hard and fast in the world of men. War. The story will be precious, and we want it. In the lands of Middle-earth, legend tells of the Dark Lord Sauron and the ring that would give him the power to enslave the world and has now found its way into the hands of the most unlikely person imaginable. I'm a huge game fan, so obviously I wanted to find out all the details about a Lord of the Rings video game. I'll get myself into uh, a mode of playing where I'll play all the time and it's generally when I'm playing like an adventure game that I'm, my head's in, once I get in I can't stop thinking about it and I have to take my character to the end. This task was appointed to you and if you do not find a way, no one. So I've been kind of asking around about this thing and I finally got to play it and it's unbelievable. It's just beautiful to look at. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, go on, Aragorn. Come on. They are coming. It's, it's kind of a bonus to be able to turn on a video game and have me running around. 
I'm getting my ass kicked. Frodo looks like me. Isn't that cool? So cool. They will find the ring and kill the one who carries it. No! Frodo! Oh, Frodo! They want the ring. They must not take it. The difference um, between ADR for a film and sort of voicing a game is that ADR for a film is generally to picture. Um, you're kind of looking at the film and trying to copy the dialogue that you've done before and get it in sync with the dialogue for the film. Who are you? Are you frightened? Yes. Not nearly frightened enough. For the game, it's not to picture, and it's just a lot of kind of atmospheric elements that you kind of throw in, you know, um, danger, help, that sort of thing. Aragorn! Help! Aragorn! Aragorn! I'm a fan of action figures and I'm a fan of games, and if I get to be included, it's just, what it's the, a total geek bonus, so I dig it. Even the smallest person can change the course of the future. I'm so excited, I can't wait till I have my copy. It's wicked. The fate of the world will soon be decided. The peril of the ring bearer deepens, for there is another who hunts the ring. never played a video game in my life. I can never understand the rules. I've got very large and clumsy hands and uh, not quite the hand-mind uh, coordination that I think is necessary, which seems to be available to everyone under the age of six. What's so wonderful about this game, Lord of the Rings, is that you are getting the voices of the original actors, uh, all of them. And uh, today I've uh, been doing the recording of Gandalf the Grey. Uh, and Gandalf the White, the two characters that I play in Lord of the Rings. What can you see? There are markings. It's some form of Elvish. I can't read it. There are few who can. There is a union now between the two towers, Orsac and Baradur. For the game, it's uh, a little rougher, a little readier, uh, a little more uh, immediate, perhaps. <laughs> One of you must enter. Help those villagers who are still alive. Basically, this is an aggressive bit of fighting. It's the military side of the Gandalf that comes out, the commander, the samurai, the leader. You shall not pass! And so what you're seeing on the screen is as near as damn it the Gandalf that you're seeing in the movies, and um, I wish I could come and play the game with you. They are coming. A bit creepy there at the end. Probably the most intimidating aspect of embarking on this project was the sense that we have this incredible responsibility to deliver on an interactive format in the same way that Peter Jackson had delivered in film. He has taken some of the most beloved literary works of all time and translated them into an epic film masterpiece that has created millions and millions of fans worldwide. Are you frightened? Yes. Not nearly frightened enough. At the beginning of a project, you're working on the conceptual side and the design side. As the project progresses, programmers, artists, animators, environment artists, modeling specialists, texture specialists, all these people are thinking about their one area of the game, but in terms of the overall experience. 
One of the advantages of being able to work so closely with the filmmakers is we were able to use the models and props that they created for the film as reference for the stuff that we needed to create in our game. In designing Aragorn, we really had to think about all three playable characters at the same time. For example, Legolas is much more of a speed and finesse oriented character. Gimli is a small the battle tank. Aragorn is more a blend of the two. We looked at the moves that each of the characters made frame by frame before we started to build anything. Then we would create a wireframe of the character. This is their basic proportions and size and scale. Then we would add texturing and lighting to complete their wardrobe and add the fine details of their character. The actors were very interested in uh, working with us. In one case, Viggo Mortensen showed us some of his action moves. He and his stunt double open up a crate of swords and start sparring with one another. That became the basis for many of Aragorn's moves. When we were selecting scenes from the film to include in our gameplay, Balin's tune really stood out as a strong candidate. It's one of the most memorable moments in the first film. We wanted to recreate the sense of ambiance. It's this very strong beam of light on the tomb itself. That was a challenge for our environment modelers and lighting specialists. The village of Rohan levels are unique in the sense that they allowed us an opportunity to expand upon areas within the film. The actual game level itself looks and feels very much like the film locations in terms of lighting, uh, the shape of the architecture, the people who were there, but we actually build upon that in this particular case and create areas of the level for the player to explore and fight in that they perhaps didn't see in the film. There is a union now between the two towers, Orsang and Baradur. What's so wonderful about this game, Lord of the Rings, is that you are getting on your own screen the voices of the original actors, uh, all of them. Help, Aragorn! Aragorn, help! It's incredibly authentic, and I think it's really difficult to make a game based on a film. This game does it. It's very much like the film. <laughs> We designed a very dynamic music system that reflects the mood of the actual uh, events in game. One ring to bring them all, and in the darkness, bite. In the film, Saruman attacks Helm's Deep with 10,000 Yurikai, so we had to use other elements at our disposal to create the sense of battle. Through sound effects and audio, we really make it feel like there's thousands of orcs in the location. <laughs> Someone plugs in the game and they say to themselves, oh my god, this is the film, and we've achieved exactly what we set out to do. This is the place that I remember from the film. If I'm there, I can do something. It's now my turn. That's the way we want the player to feel.
Okay. Ooh, is there two actually? Hang on. Tower or thing. Then what's this? Play secret character. Oh, it's uh, oh, it's a sealed doors, isn't it? That's why a sealed doors the secret character. Ah, okay, so it's, it's, it is just this then. Final level. Okay, we'll do the interview with the Wallando, and then we'll uh, crack on. Strangers from distant lands, you've been summoned here to answer the threat of Mordor. Middle Earth stands upon the brink of destruction. None can escape it. Night, or you will fall. I'm always amazed when I see the advancement of technology and stuff, and how kind of close to the to the real thing it's got to. I must get to Boromir now. When you're recording the ADR for a film, you know you're obviously watching the screen, seeing the action play in front of you as you played it on the day. When you're laying the track down for this, there isn't a camera on you, and you're not trying to lip sync to an image in front of you. So you can really go that extra mile and sort of accentuate and sort of elaborate what's on the page. Back to the pits that spawned you. Back to the pits that spawned you. They're more heightened than you would get in the movie, do you know what I mean? They're kind of slightly ridiculous and, and it's fun, you know? It was kind of fun just to sort of really play with it in that way. Come. You cannot win that fight. I think if I was playing the game, it would be nice to know that the real actors have vocalized the action that the computer generated character is playing. And I guess the more reality you have within the computer world, the more exciting it is for the player. Ah. You cannot wield it. None of us can. The ring must be destroyed. <laughs> okay, so it's time for the final level. <laughs> oh. Make sure my earbuds are in properly. Keep falling out. Okay, let's do it. I've got no memory of this, to be honest. I don't know how hard it is at all, so it could be tricky. <laughs> Your end is near. Remember that. <laughs> There you go, that's what I was trying to do the whole time. <laughs> we, <laughs> we got absolutely trounced that game. That floor. Okay, this is fun though. Floor two, come on. I think the key is going to be to take our time, not rush it. To get out from this post. We've got good arrows now as well. Plenty of Orc Bane and Orc Bane and all that kind of stuff. It's going to be easier. Yeah, this feels like it could be quite a long level, actually. There we go. Cool. The good thing about the Mithril Isles is they're all going to burn. If you hit them, they're all going to die. Good night, boy. <laughs> okay, we've got full health now, which is good. Yeah, get rid of the shielded ones because they're annoying. Let's move out. There we go. 
I should really learn some more combos. I've got them all now, but I'm just not, not learning. This is much faster. Well. There you go. That was, that was something new. I'll mix that one in there. <laughs> I think there are combos to deal with shielded enemies. These guys are just arrow fodder, let's just get rid of them. Burn your shield off as well, boy. Oh, actually, I don't think I should be. Should I be wasting the arrows? Just thought. They're getting replenished, I think, each round. Okay, it's, this is. A new checkpoint. Well, a new section each five, I guess. Then, do we get checkpoints in this? Probably not. Oh, the arrows are just. Sorry, the, the archers are very weak now against mithril arrows. It's a one-shot kill. No charge up. It's a bit awkward to deal with. There you go. to get that off. <laughs> okay. So let's just check how many hours we get back per turn. Okay. Not bad. Five, was it? That's not a bad idea, actually, getting knocked down so we can do them. Okay. Oops. Yeah, we lost a little bit too much health in this one. Right. Attack me. They always attack just as I start to attack them. Way too long. Right, stab you. There we go. Yeah, not great for that one for us. Okay then. Cancelling my move. Ah. Damn it. Okay. Floor ten. No, sorry, floor nine. I'm too much. Oh, it's floor ten. Lots of Bane of in this one. Oh crap, there's a cross as well. Damn it, man. Come on. Gotta be a little bit careful, obviously, getting surrounded by Aero is not ideal. Okay, there we go. Drop you down. Get you down. The crossbow help me out, then he hit his own troop. There you go. He can burn, boy. So the arrow knocked him over there, that was pretty good. Alright, health back. Hey, hello. Am I missing. I am missing one. What the hell? Weird. What the hell was that? They've got all the explosive arrows, see that? It's crazy. That's not good. I 
Whoa! That's new. <laughs> Just sweep the leg. <laughs> oh, timing is really off on this. Run. Just run. He's on fire. There you go. Douche. Nice. Okay. We're hanging in. We're hanging in. Those arrow boys are not friendly, though. Kill the arrows first. Ah, don't be caught. There you go, nice double knock with Let's sit down. Whew. Come on. First time, I wanna get get this one first time. Jesus. There you go. Doosh. Nice, okay. Cool. Full health, decent arrows. We're okay. Ooh, first troll. Actually, I really don't mind trolls, to be honest. This is a cave troll as well, I think. So they don't actually guard against arrows. Yeah, that's easy. <laughs> I think, actually, I, don't, I wouldn't mind a fair few trolls, because they're, they're easier to deal with than some. <laughs> Your end is near. Okay, now it's going to get extreme, I think. Come on, last five. Of the Zerkers. Ah, damn. No. Oh, we saved the cr oh the cr the archer saved me because he knocked back the Berserker. He was about to hit me. Okay, cool. Double Bane. Sit down and let's just careful. I'm not sure if these that explosive ammunition round might have just been one or it might come back. I don't know. I've got to be careful because that took out a lot of health. Let me do it. There you go. Finally got one. This doesn't always connect. Oh, man. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, good, 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 good. Still got good arrows. Uh oh, don't do rising attack when there's a troll there. Get down. Alright, just play this safe. Oh, I didn't make connection with it. Let's burn the berserker out. We can work on the jungle troll. I don't know if that's the right, proper term for them, the jungle troll. That's why I've always called them. Let's just take this easy. Actually, do Mithril arrows hurt the, the tough ones? No, still no. <laughs> I think you can hit them in the back and it works, but not the front. Here we go. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Take your time. I want to have, obviously, full health and decent arrows. There you go, cool. Alright, two more floors. I believe. Come on, we got this, we got this. Good start, okay. Get out of it, get out of it. 
Let's burn the spares. Including that troll. Ouch. Set him on fire. There you go. Good. Right. Work in the jungle. There we go. Right, so this is good. So we've done 19 anyway. Um, so it's just look, that's 20. I'm guessing there's going to be like some berserkers mixed in with like trolls. I think there's three trolls. I seem to remember actually looking back. Probably two jungles and a cave, and then I'd imagine archers and berserks. I would guess. Okay, come on, last last floor. This is the one for all the marbles. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, actually, it worked out really well. I think they killed some of their own things. We're gonna get rid of this archer because he's gonna destroy me otherwise. I go. Okay. Oh, it, it was explosive arrows as well. All right, get rid of the cave. Weapon. Yes, here we go. I think we've done it, boys. Oh, don't speak too soon. <laughs> don't look at cocky. Yes, they hit each other as well. It's perfect. Let's get try and bait some shots in. Go on, slam your fist down. Yes. Ouch. God, I can't die now. I can't die now. Yes! Alright, easy, 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 easy. Take your time, take your time. Nice and calm. Nice and calm. No need to panic. It's all good. I've missed loads of times before. Camera's kind of annoying here. He's a bit far off to the side. That's alright. Yes! Nice! Oh, that's first try, I'm happy with that. It wasn't too hard. It wasn't too hard. Just got to take your time. Whew. Oh. It is time for you to stop. You did not seriously think an elf could contend with Saruman. None can or should even dare. <laughs> you shall pay for your arrogance. Check the final stats. Guaranteed a good rating on this one. <laughs> 31. Oh, what a call! Cool, what a call! Cool. <laughs> what a bonus that was. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> Okay, definitely save that. Definitely save that. Okay, so it's done. The cheat codes, you can... Things like slow motion and various weird ones you can do, but... Yeah, that's been uh, the Lord of the Rings, the Two Tower. Two Towers video game. Oh, it's such a great game. This is one of my favourite games from uh, definitely the PS2 era. It was just fantastic. Watching this level the first time was just incredible. I couldn't believe it. It looked so good. Yeah. Great game, though. Great game. So, yeah, it's, it's done. Um, we'll leave it here. But I will be playing through the uh, Return of the King as well. Uh, looking forward to that one. And I seem to remember as well, I think I mentioned before, but the that also has secret levels at the end of it. Um, I think there's another Tower of Orthanc, then there's a Tower of... Oh no, it's a Tower of Saruman, and then the Tower of Sauron. And Sauron's one is fucking tough. <laughs> it's proper hard. So, that could be a challenge, but we'll we'll, we'll do that in uh, in time. Got a ways to go yet, but we'll, we'll get there. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope anyone watching this enjoyed it. And, um, yeah, see you in the next video. Take care.